Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to No No Films. And today I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to use the camera and how to record through the iMovie app. And uh, this is uh, continuing my iMovie for iPhone tutorials. So let's go ahead and jump in straight into iMovie. I have it downloaded here. Be sure to take out take, take a look at my first two tutorials. Talks about how to create your first project, which we did here. And uh, we also um, went over the layout of the actual application. But for now, let's go ahead at the very top there. If you notice, where there's a video tab, there's a projects tab, and there's a theater. So uh, we're actually going to go straight to our projects at the top again. And we're going to create a new project again. It's going to be another movie at the top. And this time, um, when we, we're going to actually choose one of these images and we're gonna create movie. It's going to just use that image in there. It's going to be it's just actually a, just a gray image. There's nothing here actually but let's go ahead and hit that plus button right here in the timeline just just right here in the center if you hit that plus button it'll bring up a window of additional areas where you can export or import um, videos or audio from for example at the very bottom here if you can take a notice you can uh, it has camera and voiceover so this is how you would also record your voiceover if you wanted just an audio on a specific clip but uh, let's go ahead and click on that camera option and it should actually open up your camera just like that. If you notice on my top right hand corner, um, I do have an option. It says 1080p, 30 frames per second. Um, if I actually click that little the square there, it will actually change it and up the value to, from 1080p to 60 frames per second. And if I tap it again, it will go to 720p, 240 frames per second. So you could get a pretty, and then you could go 4K just because I do have an iPhone 6S, which is does offer 4K recording as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and t change it back to 1080p, um, 30 frames per second, and I'm gonna, at the very top, you have the basic options. You can uh, either change the camera to the front camera, or you can do the flash as well if you need some light. And uh, to keep in mind, you can swipe from right to left. Um, you can also, <laughs> there's a little notification there, but you can swipe uh, from left to right, and uh, you can get straight into the photo section here as well. But I'm going to go back to the video, I'm going to tap that record button and it's going to start recording. Uh, keep in mind also that you can, you don't have to record uh, vertically like this, you can record horizontally. So I just clicked uh, use video there as well um, and so it just drops it straight into my project. It puts an automatic transition. If I tip, tap on that transition right there between my image here and between my actual footage, which is 11 seconds long. Um, if I click that transition, I'll have these uh, different transition options. Uh, it shows you right there, it's currently using Dissolve. You can change it to a slide, uh, a theme, a particular theme, or Dissolve uh, Fade. And the fade is actually quite, uh, if you tap Fade again, you'll get a second fade. It's two different kinds. It will be Fade to White or Fade to Black, uh, basically, uh, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and play that transition from that um, actual uh, image, and then play the transition, Fade to Black and it goes straight into the video just like that uh, and that's how you use the camera you can also do voiceover um, uh, just a position where you want to do the voiceover and go ahead hit that plus button scroll down voiceover and it'll give you a little like bar here showing you how you're recording uh, as you're speaking because it depends what you have if you're using your headphones to capture the audio or if you're using just the built-in uh, microphone detector then uh, you might not have as good quality so I'll probably recommend using headphones or any kind of external microphone you can use connect to record it there as well and then you'll, ha you'll just press that record button at the top right like this record and it'll give you this is testing of my recording stop I just hit that stop now it says recording finished uh, cancel retake preview accept uh, you can't uh, review um, I'm gonna accept and I'm going to see how it actually looks here on the timeline. See, it's right, right, right there, that little blue line. I can actually click on it, and I can uh, get additional editing options regarding how do I, I can increase the speed of it here. I can cut it, duplicate it, delete it, and change some background noise as well. And if I play it here, you'll notice... So it was actually playing right there. But that was my audio. And then we got the transition. So that's some of the basic editing. So um, we're going to dive in deeper into more editing and how to do some additional things and cool features within the next tutorial. So be sure to subscribe, you guys, and join me on this new series I've started. Uh, otherwise, uh, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next video and later. So
Hello ladies and gents, and thank you for joining me here after the credits. I do have a unique opportunity here. If you get this app uh, called App Nana, now this is what the app looks like, but I'm gonna go to my invite. If you use my referral code right there at the top, M2326194, you'll get an instant 2,500 Nanas straight to your account. There are also a variety of rewards you can get. Uh, now you may also find this application in the App Store. If you go to search bar, you can search App Nana, app nana just like that and you'll see it's right there it's app joy you can also search it by app joy and uh, you can go ahead and download that right now but go ahead and use that invitation code thank you and later